my style is painterly, um, post-impressionistic, painterly, I guess. Um, but I've also been trying to do some more, I don't know, experimenting, I think, lately. Uh, pushing color a lot more lately. I think my work's kind of known for its atmospheric quality and um, mood. I had a lot of people stop in today and talk about how my work evokes a mood, and, and which is great, and I'd still like that. But I think I'm trying to push color a little bit more is kind of my personal goal lately. And the paintings that I dropped off to you this weekend, I think, have some of that uh, as an example. Do you follow any other artists and kind of watch their styles evolve and kind of... I do. I follow a lot of artists and I'm not going to tell you anything else <laughs> about that because they all stink. No. Um, obviously, yeah, you follow a lot of other artists, especially through social media nowadays. And it's just, uh, just, it's a great resource and a great way to get inspired and see what your colleagues are up to and so forth. And... Um, and uh, you know you compare notes and you see kind of what what's what's inspiring and uh, but there's a, there's a lot of artists to in all seriousness there's a lot of artists to too many to mention frankly um, I mean I could you know go on for hours and hours about my influences and, and artists that I like living and dead and all of that stuff but a lot of my my main inspiration are <clears throat> a lot of as we call old dead guys. Um, but there's a lot of really great things happening nowadays, so there's no lack of inspiration on uh, currently happening out there. Do you have any kind of, do you have a to-do list of different things you want to try as an artist or try to accomplish? Uh, that is an interesting question because, and <laughs> hopefully you'll like the answer, I don't know if you will, but I have, as I think most artists have, a stack of stuff that I want to get to in my studio and actually a lot of that stuff is not what you would think of when you think of my work. It's a lot of experimental stuff and uh, scenes that I, you know, landscapes and even some abstract work and different things that I've been wanting to try and, you know, like someday I'll do this, someday I'll paint that painting. So I think I'm, I've told my wife I'm trying to get to a point in, in my schedule where I've kind of um, met my obligations and, and maybe part of the end of this year or next year I want to start tapping into that uh, stack of, of stuff that I want to do because I find that I, I think I have the most fun and grow the most when I do new work whether it's work that people will like or not or whatever I think is is arbitrary I think for me it's whenever I'm trying something different I just had this discussion with a friend of mine driving out here this weekend. It's like I have the most fun, not necessarily the most successful work, but the most fun, most enjoyable, most fulfilling work when I'm trying something different or something that I haven't done before. So that's kind of what I've got planned. Of course, there's always the commissions and things that you've, you know, are obligated to do, and I have plenty of those, and, and you know, people like yourself and galleries that I need to... Um, keep happy and fulfill and all that stuff so you know it's it's a it's an interesting it's a good balance to have i guess cool. Hello,